Hello everyone, I'm Herod Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in what will be the final episode of this little campaign. Um, right now, as you can tell, it's not quite where we left off last time. And, well, because I said at the end of the last episode, I was going to play this a little bit ahead. So right now, Germany's doing pretty well. France is France. And Romania is gone. I decided, you know what, I get tired of the lag in the game and... In the end, I'm going to probably use console commands anyways to annex most people, but I actually decided just to annex Romania. Got quite a bit more manpower. Um, just, I was tired of seeing all the supply issues too, so. Oh well. Um, Hungary, you know, I can probably annex you fairly decently or, you know, pretty easily if I uh, just give you a bunch of stuff, which I have not enough of. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of stuff here. Here's something. There you go. And then just start building a lot of stuff in Ro Hungarian lands. There you go. Uh, you need factories? No, you don't. Build a lot of forts. There you go, there you go, and there you go. That's enough forts. Cool. Um, so, with the capitulation of Rom not Romania, but Poland yesterday, I didn't exactly tell you at the beginning of this campaign that I was using a mod called Realistic Nukes. Now, Realistic Nukes makes the country that you uh, fire off nukes against get closer to capitul capitulation. So yesterday, I nuked the Soviet Union once. And that's why it gives us that national spirit. Or gives Joey Stahl there um, that national spirit where we were nuked once. Surrender limit minus 33%. If we're getting nuked twice more, our nation will capitulate. So here are the casualties so far. We got two extra nukes, so pretty good. 800,000 losses versus 12.7. Very nice. And as you can tell... Someone is trying to go to war with us, and that includes the UK. The UK is being a bunch of jerks, and of course the Allies, led by the UK, are trying to get more oil against Iraq, Iran, the Dutch Empire, Zulia, and Miranda. Go figure. Also, um, the Dutch have been doing been doing really well. Greece invaded Finland, France invaded Finland, uh, or really the Soviet Union. Uh, France also invaded down here in the Caucasus, and then Greece invaded China. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but the Greeks, they're amazing. They're just amazing. So they invaded China. Also, I own the French part of Guangzhou Wan. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, not much has changed. So, uh, But let's pause this real quick. Let's have our soldiers stop advancing at the moment. And if I nuke you twice more, let's see what happens. Also, to form the EU, like I said, I'm going to use console commands. Just because I'm not going to waste time trying to... Uh, Darn, I can't use Moscow. I can't. I'm not going to waste time to going flipping to communism, to become communist or fascist. That just doesn't make any sense for me. And just waste that time, so. And once in the north and once in the south. And that's all you have to do. Using realistic nukes. That's why Poland fell so fast yesterday. So, um, because we want to form the EU, I'm probably going to kick out the Dutch Empire. And I'm just going to take them over manually. Except I will use console commands for France, which is a supervised state, which one of my great subs told me yesterday. That's because you're democracy. You can have, basically, it's like a puppet, but you can't annex him in the end, which kind of sucks. Anyways, um, I'm going to need all of Italy under me. Thank you. Um, you know what? I'm just going to take pretty much everything just because it's the end of the campaign. And if I puppet them, I don't actually get to annex them when I form the EU. And that wouldn't look very good. Just, Just go ahead. Just take it all. Yugoslavia, they show in their true colors. They're going to be democratic whether they like it or not. Uh, Lithuania, you should you should not have even existed. Uh, Poland, well, go ahead. And I will use console commands to annex Czechoslovakia, Belgium, probably Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, just so that because we're already an economic alliance, it doesn't make any sense for them to be independent, as well as Greece. Forgot about them. So, with the Soviet Union, though, I did have a comment from the back of the beginning of this campaign saying that I should only puppet the European part of Russia, which is a great idea. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take Finland first. Because that's pretty European, right? I think that's pretty European. Let's do that. Um, leave that alone for now. I'll take that. We're going to take Finland. The Baltic states, well... They shall be properly integrated into uh, the EU. Can I liberate 
Hmm. You know what? Let's have a little bit of fun. Where is Georgia, Armenia, Belarus? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Belarus. Yeah. The Ukraine? Yeah. Um, I like that. I really like that idea. A little bit of a buffer state. Yeah, I can't form the Baltic Union. Baltic Union, which I would have loved to do, but where's Japan? Oh, I can't give it to Japan. Gosh dang it. Ah, because they are in this war as well. So with that in mind, I'm just going to go ahead and puppet Russia or make them into a supervised state. Now, I'm doing that because, hold on, I don't want the anything past the Urals. I'll just give to Japan straight up. There we go. Um, are you still at war with... You're more with those guys. So, that's why I have the state transfer tool mod, because I don't want to deal with this. So, this is not going to be part of my alliance's territory. And I'm sorry if I'm manually doing this. Um, we're going to keep that for now. Anything over here? We've got time to do this anyways. Northern Siberia, Surgut, Tomsk. Did I miss something over here? Yeah, I did. Omsk. Tomsk and Omsk. And Ak Akmolinsk. The weird Asian part of Russia that not too many people talk about. I can't imagine a lot of things happen over here just because... Well, I don't think there's a lot of people that live over here. Mark. And then give it. Just transfer to... Oh, Japan was invaded too. Hmm. It's interesting. That's usually the way I invade Japan. Usually through the north. I usually don't like invading through the south. There's just too much action down there. And the north, supply isn't as good. There's only one port. That's why you surround that area down there. And the game lags very hard as I transfer stuff to, to Japan. Three, two, one, come on. Oh, it stopped lagging. Oh, cool, not bad. The Russian Federation, you're very, very red. Cool. And there you go. Pop, pop, pop. Transfer that to Japan. Oh, a little ugly more areas. Yakutsk. There. Oh, that's nice. That's better. Transfer. Stalinabad. Tashkent. I can't be bothered to release these other nations. And like I said before, I'm not really interested in getting involved in all of these wars against Japan or Asia or whatever. Even if the UK goes to war with me, I'm not really interested. Nice. Now that's not bad. Yeah, maybe I give him a little bit too much territory. It. I don't really care at this point. That's right. And we have the Russian Federation. Oh, Germany's right there. And they're led by Alexander Fyodorovich Kerensky. Kerensky. Hello, Kerensky. Well, in this timeline, you're doing quite all right. We were nuked thrice. We need to capitulate. Awesome. So, I'm at peace now. I have a war goal against the Russian Federation. I don't plan on doing that, guys. I'm going to kick you out of the faction. And immediately... Oh. You know what? Well, you know what? You know what? Whatever. You know, I'm going to give you proper Ukrainian territories. Uh, that's not really Ukrainian. Let's transfer that over. We're going to make a weak Russia. Connect these two. That looks pretty good enough to me. Um, you know what? I'm going to be a little bit generous for now. Yes. Yes. Mark. Bukovina, no. Alright. Actually, that's not bad. That's a pretty thick Ukraine. Any of my Ukrainian viewers will probably like that. Kost. Levchitsky. And then... Oh, nice flag. Very nice flag, Belarus. Awesome. So this is the Central European Alliance. Um, you know what? And like I said, I'm just going to use cons commands. I'm not going to waste time doing this stuff. And let's just go ahead and annex France because I don't want to involve, get involved with any more wars in this campaign. Playing as the democracy isn't a lot of great fun all the time. I mean, it can be fun. But uh, what is this one? TDE bug. Annex whole, Holland, Holland. Um, it can be fun for a while. 
but after a while it just becomes kind of like oh that's okay that's why you don't see too many you know democratic usa campaigns well some uh that looks pretty good oh and i didn't go to war with portugal so i'm not going to annex them and one more one annex c z e good i'm not going to take out them uh, if we wanted to actually oh look at those a few more factories that's not bad i have no use for these so go and do that uh i got a ton of dockyards Put a bunch of these on because we're going to send a ton of convoys to Hungary. Yes, I can do the decision, but I want to get a little bit more. T oh my goodness, that's so many things. I don't want to get involved in any sort of wars. Drain me of the resources I just got. Good. Uh, sure, do some advanced anti air. There you go. And. Russian Federation. Yeah, they want to be free. Yeah, no. And to help do this, oh, yeah, I'm already doing that. Air bases, of course. Naturally, Hungary needs as many air bases as possible. And the most useless thing is anti air, so we'll give them that. And we're gonna watch how slowly this is gonna fall. Uh oh. Japan, you're Um. Please don't release this to Russia, please. You know what? If that happens again, I'm just going to annex Hungary and finish this campaign like that. Please do not release it to Russia. Oh, okay. Okay. Guanzi, click. Oh, that does not look good. The United Mexican States just got crushed. Oh, wow, that's pretty bad. Because I took out Greece. Yeah. That's not bad, though. I mean, Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. Common turn. Huh, common turn. And of course, the Central European Alliance. You know, actually, I can go ahead and form this. Realize European unity. Uh, through the concept of, concept of a politically unified Europe has only gained any semblance in, of traction in the past few decades, our recent conquest of the most powerful continental European nations present us with this unexpected reality. Perhaps a restructuring of the nation is required to take full advantage of the opportunities it offers us. Cool, let's see what happens. So we have the little flag here. Still by Conrad. Um, let's take a quick look. Manpower, does it shoot up at all? Unification of Europe. The main powers of continental Europe lay conquered before Germany. And for the first time, the recent dreams of a united Europe seem attainable. A variety of experts, presumably on the government payroll, <laughs> have already been gun, repeatedly citing the current political situation as the only way to prevent future European conflict. In further efforts to give the outward appearance of a nation for all Europeans, government reforms on the national and the local level are being pushed through at an impressive rate. And as part of those, it was announced today that the country shall henceforth be known as the European Union so that all Europeans may feel welcome in it. Does that include Turkey? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, I'm surrounding Belarus and our ch flag changed. Oh, look, now we have more manpower. That we don't really need. I really, really didn't use my navy in this campaign. Um, I built a carrier. I built finally a super heavy battleship that I didn't even use. So, and how much further would we have to wait to do this? That'd be that's too long for me. So, just because they're my puppet, I don't really care. Cool. So that's pretty much the campaign. That's a short, a fairly short little video from doing this. United Mexican States, Venezuela. We own a little bit of that area. Oh, oh yeah. Holy cow! I forgot about this. We own a huge chunk of Africa. Oh, and the Dutch East Indies are not doing very well. But anyways, I guess that's the campaign, guys. If you enjoyed it, I guess maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, maybe. Check out my Discord link below if you haven't already. And I guess I will see you tomorrow when we start a new campaign in which... I don't know. Maybe we'll start a new campaign. Maybe we won't. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave a like if you liked it, like I said earlier. And I hope you all have a great, great democratic day.